Cities from New York to California have reported big drops in sales. We're also learning about reports of racist incidents at hotels and bullying. As the first cases of COVID started to emerge in the U.S., Asian and Asian Americans were reporting incidences of shunning, abuse, and hate speech at a rapid rate. On March 2nd, one of the many videos documenting anti-Asian racism to go viral was posted by this Asian American woman commuting on a New York City subway. Her video captures a woman covering her face, presumably due to the fact that she was afraid of getting sick. Afterwards, the Asian American woman posted the video to Twitter with this comment. Her post was liked and reposted by hundreds of thousands of users on Twitter, but obviously her post wasn't received well by everyone. Some question the racist intent of the woman covering her face. It's not clear that she did it because she was racist or just because she was afraid. But there's one response that was particularly interesting. Okay, put aside the irony of the user's name. I'm not quite sure what brave means when your comments are completely anonymous. It's their response to the original post that I want to focus on for today's lesson. At first, the post appears to be a simple word problem. This is made obvious by the first sentence. It goes on to say, if 99% of all the people with coronavirus are Asian, it is smart and not racist at all to protect oneself from blank people who get on public transportation. For the user, the answer is obvious. It has to be Asian. That's what goes in the blank. At first glance, it seems that the user is responding to this incident objectively and with logical reasoning. These are two of the most basic principles in critical thinking. And they're the first two concepts that I want to introduce in order to begin this course on critical thinking and the Asian American experience. Recently, Asian Americans have become a hugely important topic in discussions not only about COVID, but film, technology, and of course, education. But this isn't a class about Asian Americans. It's a class about critical thinking where experiences of Asian Americans are used to help us understand what it means to think critically about information and the world around us. We'll be talking much more about the abuse that Asian Americans had to endure after COVID, but for now, let's go back to our not so brave quote. This quote here is an inference. An inference is a specific kind of thinking process because it's intentional. When you make an inference, you use logical reasoning to draw conclusions from the information that you observe. Let me emphasize those two words, logical reasoning. You see, logical reasoning is unique to how the brain processes information. And contrary to what some people think, it's not automatic. Logical reasoning specifically refers to the three major ways that people analyze information, inductive, deductive, and abductive thinking. In this class, you'll only really be learning about the first two. This tweet here is an example of deductive reasoning. It's deductive because it begins with assuming that all of the information that you see in front of here is all true. And if the information is in the correct order, its conclusion is almost mathematical. Of course the answer here has to be Asian. That's the correct answer, if all of the previous statements were true. This is key here. This aspect of gathering the correct information is the other important part of critical thinking. Critical thinking isn't just about logical reasoning. You're not thinking critically simply because you use logic to make observations. It's also necessary to consider all of the information in front of you. You have to gather as many facts as possible. Then you can use logical reasoning as the tools to understand and analyze these facts. Take a look at this. This was posted on March 3rd, the day after the original incident was posted on Twitter. But by March 3rd, people from all over the world had the coronavirus, not just Asians. This statement here, this isn't a fact. And the actual fact that the tweet wrongfully targets all Asians by posting this falsehood for the purpose of stigmatizing one particular racial group, that's actually racist. What I did here was use the tools of critical thinking to prove that this user is neither smart nor brave. 
all too often posts or comments on the internet presumes a kind of self-evidential rightness. What I mean by this is they often come in the form of, because I feel something or I experience something, what I think must be true. Later on in this class, you'll learn why this type of statement is a logical fallacy. This leads us to the last objective of critical thinking. This class isn't simply about providing tools to communicate information or making inferences effectively by using logical reasoning. Critical thinking will also help you to break down inferences that other people make. And just as importantly, it will help you to explain why their assertions are valid or invalid, strong or weak. Let me dispel one last false assumption. It's false to presume that any of you who are taking this class naturally have these skills. It's true that some of you might be better at using these skills, but critical thinking isn't natural. That's because you're not critical thinking simply because you're thinking hard about something. This tweet here poses itself as logical reasoning, but actually it's simple racism. Not because it says something about Asians, but because it's targeting Asians for the purpose of stigmatizing them. But this tweet also happens to be false, as evidenced by the last line in the tweet. That's just ridiculous. There's nothing smart or brave about that. But because so many people lack tools to properly analyze information and communicate what they think, it's difficult for most people to effectively respond to falsehood on the internet, to comments like this. But that's why you're in this class. You're not here to learn about Asian Americans. You're here to understand how some of their experiences provide examples for something much more fundamental. Something that needs to be learned because it's not automatic. Critical thinking isn't natural. It takes a lot of practice and is actually quite difficult to do, especially now that there's so much information and a lot of it is misinformation. All of these reasons are why critical thinking is required for you to graduate, because it's something that needs to be taught. Otherwise, you're this person. <laughs>